Well, I'm really pleased to welcome you back to a new summer term at Fimbra. It, of course, is going to be different to ever before with at-home learning and for those who are joining us whose parents are key workers. It's been said that all adventures, particularly into new territory, can be scary. But together, we can work this out and we can have you learning brilliantly so that you make all the progress that's needed as we move on through this ever-changing time. As we start this term, the key to success, particularly working at home, is your positivity, optimism and enthusiasm. Every day can bring great challenges, great things to learn in new and different ways. So make sure you really approach it with that vigour, that opportunity to be your very best because that will make it all work out for you. Never before has your learnability been so important. Your drive, your determination and your attention to detail are going to be the things that count. We'll do everything we can to support you, but it's got to come from you. That drive to learn from inside, and I know you can all do it. The seven habits are extremely important here. And if we start, as I have done in the Fimbra Flyer, with habit one being proactive, that's about getting yourselves organised for each day. You're going to be running a normal school day, so have everything ready. Have your workspace tidy. Make sure you're set to get up in plenty of time to get yourself dressed and ready for an active day of learning. It's really important to have the conditions right. That proactivity and that organisation are going to be really, really important. Being ready in the morning is something that you've got to get right. You've been in holiday mode for the last three weeks and I'm sure bedtimes have crept up and the mornings spent some time in bed. Now it's time to get that routine sorted. To set your alarm, get up, get showered, get ready, whatever else is necessary so you're locked and loaded and sorted out ready for school. Each day you'll be meeting with your form. And that provides a great opportunity for you all to share the challenges and work out things that you need help with. But it's also time to have some fun. And as is usually the case, I'm setting a form challenge through the Fimbra Flyer. You might have seen lots of celebrities have been collaborating from their own homes, whether it's Chris Martin, whether it's Gary Barlow, whether it's Robbie Williams and a multitude of others. I want to set a similar challenge for you. Can you put on a performance with your form? It could be anything. The opportunities for your creativity are immense. And I'm going to really look forward to what you do together. The word of the week this week is unprecedented. This word is being used all the time in the media. And it means approaching a completely different situation something not experienced before, and you're in that position. But let me tell you, everything you've shown so far and the incredible diligence your teachers are putting into your at-home learning is going to make it work. We're in this situation, we can't do anything about it, so we will make the best of it. So make sure in these unprecedented times, you are your best and you're absolutely ready. Each week, we centre on a reading focus. I can go on and on about how important reading is, and I'm absolutely true in my view. But are you making it work? What are you reading at the moment? How often do you read each day? A great vocabulary and the skill to be able to speak well and write well depends on reading. So make sure you've got your books open. Make sure you're enjoying a story make sure you are reading. When we return to school, it's always important that we have our standards right. I'm always impressed at Fimbra at how students rise to the challenge, immaculately turned out, great manners and incredible interpersonal skills. Never before have your standards been so important. The standards that are gonna be particularly valuable in this occasion are your self-discipline. 
getting yourself active and ready for the day and making sure you stick to what your teachers have asked you to do in your learning. That will make a difference. That will make at-home learning work. During this time, as any other time, your well-being is really, really important. And you will have had, as I mentioned earlier, three weeks where bedtime's been a bit later and you've had the opportunity for a lay-in, or at least some of you. Now that has to change because Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night and Thursday night are school nights. And those early beds will mean you get enough sleep. They'll mean you're fresh. They'll mean you're ready. And at-home learning can be as successful as it possibly can be. We've also set a new FIMBRA 5 for this term. This is an exciting set of challenges that you can actually complete at home. The first is to take a photograph that really summarizes what life in isolation with your family is like. But make it positive. Make it something that will give good memories of this time. Because although it can be difficult, being all together and being separated from friends and other members of the extended family, I'm sure there have been lots of wonderful things that have happened. So capture them in an image that we can put together to remember this truly historic moment in time. The second FIMBRA 5 challenge is useful if maybe you like being agile or perhaps you want to take up boxing one day, but it's skipping. Learn to skip. Find a piece of rope that's the right size and really develop your skipping skills. Start off simple and build up. Who knows where you'll take it? The third challenge is a truly domestic one. I want you to try to learn and use your washing machine at home. To be able to do some of your own and maybe the rest of the family's laundry. It will be a valuable thing at this time, a way that you can help out, but such a valuable life skill for the future. For the fourth challenge, create a delicious dessert. Get some strawberries, melt some chocolate, dip the strawberries in them and then put them in the fridge and then quite simply enjoy with all of your family. The fifth and final challenge is an opportunity to flex your literary muscles. That's to write a beautiful summer poem. It doesn't have to be long, but take it as an opportunity to capture this period of time to capture all the beauty that surrounds us. Poetry might not be your thing, but do you know, sometimes taking a moment to view the environment around you and to put it into words, particularly where rhyme is involved, can be a wonderful experience. These five challenges, along with all of your at-home learning, and for those children of key workers, time in school, are going to make a great start to the summer term. As I said, your learnability is going to be vital and your organisation and routine essential. Establishing those routines will really make a difference. I look forward to seeing you soon and I'm going to keep speaking to you via videos over the coming weeks. When we return to school, there will be lots of things to catch up upon. And times will be different. But let's remember, so many things will also have developed during this period of time. We will all have grown. We will all have taken new things that we can work on. We will all have developed new skills. It is a challenge, but I can see in the evidence every day that you are rising to it in every way that you can. And that is fantastic. So I look forward to speaking to you again soon and wish you a wonderful start to the summer term.